Hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna show you how you can set up your demo account for MetaTrader. I'm assuming you already downloaded it. So, when you start it for the first time, it's gonna look something like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open a personal demo account, the middle one. So, you click right there. And I want you to search for Trader's Way demo. Unless you have one that you wanna use, or you wanna use that MetaQuotes demo. That's like the meta trader broker, but you can't trade gold and silver on the meta clothes. So, Trader's Way is the broker that I'm using for my live account, and they also offer a demo. Pretty much any broker that has a real account also offers a demo. Um, so, if you want to try somebody out, so you can check out their spreads or see what currencies they have for you to trade, you can use their broker. But if you don't know what, what to use, I suggest just go with the Trader's Way demo. So just type in Trader's Way like that and it should pop up. Yeah, and then just click on demo and open one with them. So you're going to have to put some information on here. This doesn't matter, you can put whatever you want. Where it says account type, um, we're going to be using US dollars and we're going to have an ECN account. These are the different types of account that they offer. Just do the TW, ECN, and USD. For the leverage, 1 in 1000 is kind of high. You can do whatever you want, but you could, I mean, I'd suggest like 300 or 500. Um, you shouldn't be taking advantage of your leverage either way, so. I'll just do 500 and for a deposit you can have like all I don't know 500,000 or 50 million I don't know what number that is but try not to do something really high and treat this demo like if it was a real account so if you were only going to open your real account with three thousand dollars just start with that and then you put create account and right here you review oh no it's already making it All right, so that's it. You just set up a demo account. Uh, I would take a screenshot of this. Um, the main things you have to remember are your your login number, this number right here, um, and the uh, password. This investor password you're not going to use unless you're going to be setting up a, like a VPS. Or if you want to put this account on my FX book, you'll need that investor password. But yeah, besides that, you won't need it. And um, if you're going to set up an account with my FX book and you forget your password, there's an easy way for you to set up a new one through MetaTrader. But that's pretty much it. I'm going to save this. Push done. And now you're logged into that account. So... Loading, what the hell? There it goes. Fuck Simpson. All right. So you'll have a few currencies right here. Um, this is your quotes the watch list. This is the charts. This is the active trades you got going on. This is the trades that just happened. Right here, you could put uh, today's, last week's, last month's. So you can just see trades from a certain period. And this is your news. So if there's only a few currencies right here, if you wanted to add some more, you push the plus sign. And right here, ECN is uh, forex currencies, energies is like gas and oil, metals is silver and gold, and yeah, the cash and all that. So if you wanted to add one, you just uh, touch it and it'll start adding it. Um, that's good and now all the ones that I added are down here in the bottom now if you want to check out one of these charts just go like that and that's how you open it 
your candlesticks might not look like this or actually they shouldn't look like this because I set this up manually but if you wanted to change the color of your your candlesticks and all that you'd go down here to colors customize colors and you could set something up like this if you want it to look like mine the main things are just the bull candle bull candle and the bear candle and the background's white so that's why the bar up and bar down are black um, see it kind of stands out a little bit and it'll look something like this and to add the indicators you just push the F and right here you could add some indicators just push the plus sign and you could add your indicators whatever you want to use um, if you want to set up a if I want to place a trade right here let's say I want to place a sell you do the plus sign over here however much you want to risk um, if you're starting off in demo try to be consistent maybe do like 10 cent lots on a three thousand dollar account and if I push buy or sell it's gonna buy or sell at this price um, this number right here this is your take profit so you can put this at wherever you want it to close for profit and this is your stop loss so you put this wherever you want it to close for a stop loss um, if you wanted to place a limit or a stop order you can go over here put a buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop and once you place a trade you're gonna see it right here so let me place a sell real quick for a penny lot place a sell done my order's in and now I can see that I have a sell right here you can zoom in with your by I don't know I don't know how you call that hand gesture that I'm doing but uh yeah you just zoom in if you want to change time frames it's a little clock if you want to change currencies it's the money sign over here um, if you want to check out a certain uh, level certain price go right there I'm going to take profit at 175 Modify. There's my take profit. Um, if I wanted to close the order early, hold it. And I can close order for a loss right here. Or I can modify it and change this. Change the stop loss, whatever. So that's pretty much it, um, hope this video helped you guys out, and hope to see you guys making some money. Alright, peace out. So this is that GU, it still hasn't had my take profit, but it's about to be 4 o'clock, which means they're going to charge me a swap fee, and since I'm only doing a one set lot, I'm just going to close it. If I would have been doing a 10 cent lot, this would have been a $24 profit. If I would have done a standard lot, it would have been um, 240, 239. But let me just go ahead and close these orders. That's one I just placed a little while ago. Here, you want to check it out? Place it up there. Just go ahead and close it. Alright, made two dollars and seventy-six cents. So just penny lot order, so it's not that much. But that's it, you basically get how it all works, so hope these hope this video helps you.